All right, so I want to talk a little bit about the uh, Tough Mudder incident. Of course, um, I think I'm catching it pretty early. A 28-year-old dies during Tough Mudder event. Um, and it's asked the, the the real question is was company Tough Mudder, which is a brand, said to pull in about 100 million this year? They're going to make 100 million this year, if I'm correct. Um, are they were they negligent? So the the video which I'll try to find and link in the description. I'm not going to put it in this video. You'll see way too many of those. Um, was that they're on top of a um, let's call it. 20 30 foot thing you jump into the water the muddy water is all um, you know it's pitch black you couldn't see anything uh, and I'm, I'm I'm assuming it's really cold it's really cold and that's just one of the things you crawl out crawl up one of these nets it's one of those things you crawl under barbed wire it's one of those events you should know what m tough mudder is it's pretty popular nowadays a 28 year old jumps in and doesn't come out now his buddies are on the sideline saying jump in there's like a, a lifeguard on duty they're saying like jump in jump in the uh, jump in the water get your mask on and uh, I think it took like four minutes for the lifeguard four minutes if I if I remember right maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm excuse me a minute a whole minute before he even uh, dove down first off didn't even have his mask on ready to go and um, took him four minutes four minutes or something like that just to get his body and uh, try to revive him. Obviously, he, he died, so it was unsuccessful. Uh, I think, in my opinion, I mean, it's no place for me to say whether or not they were negligent, but it sounds like way too much time. And, and the truth is, it's it's not their fault, but they should be held, uh, you know, liable. So they're, so they're being sued, like a multi-million dollar lawsuit is being considered for the family, which is perfectly just for them to propose that. I'm not quite sure if they're actually pursuing the multi-million dollar Tough Mudder lawsuit. But what do you guys think? Have you ever been to a Tough Mudder event? I mean, the real thing is life's full of dangers. Anything anything could happen. I mean, we see it all the, all the time now with the news and media, like tornadoes, everything. Life's fragile. So when, when you do an event like this, you think of only the fun side. That's why you do it. The fun, it's event. You train for, you know, this guy trained for a year, they said, with his friends. Uh, jumps in never comes out I mean life is fragile really what we try to do in the gym is make ourselves look good we try to prepare for life events we get stronger build more muscle um, but the truth is it's all coming down it's not up to me to say whether or not they were negligent I just wanted to touch on this there is a girl who jumped in after him and they're saying could have possibly hit him uh, and she was hesitant which is a, an, another topic altogether don't be hesitant but uh, she, she could have jumped on top of him and hit him in the head. Um, regardless, he passed away. 28-year-old uh, guy had a whole life in front of him. Um, you know, prayers go out to his family and anyone affected. Uh, but a 28-year-old, a V, Sagupta, should have died. Tough Mudder event, no doubt. I mean, I'm a supporter. It looks fun. Not for me personally. Uh, but it looks like a fun event and is widely popular nowadays. Uh, it's unfortunate it had to happen. Just want to let you guys know, in my opinion, I think the company, it's not their fault, but I think they need to be held accountable. What do you guys think? Peace.